Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to exercise our biceps and triceps. Before starting, as usual, we are going to do our dynamic stretches, which is the greatest stretch wherein we stretch our inner thighs, our glutes, our outer thigh, our calf muscles, our upper body, the entirety, the compound stretch, which I always do. We are going to do five repetitions on each side making sure we unlock our mobility entirely regardless of which body part we are going to do exercise on i have mentioned this earlier and i'll mention this again you can do this particular stretch first thing in the morning or before going to sleep regardless making sure you you know engage your uh, inner thighs and your glutes as much as possible on a regular basis quite a helpful stretch it has improved my mobility a lot as i continue to do this consistency really stacks up so it's truly worth giving that five minute time every day to perform this particular stretch it's easy not very complicated i have been doing this all this time so i hope by now you have caught up in terms of how to do it if you do have extra bit of flexibility and are able to go way lower than i am able to please do go ahead and do that and that's it for our dynamic stretching we are going to finish this off with a deep squat which we again do on a regular basis we lean forward by pushing our glutes far behind as much as possible feel the hamstring stretch and once our hamstrings are stretched completely we start bending our knees and go into a deep squat and stay there for a couple of seconds making sure our deep squat mobility is also on mark move on to our warm-up exercises for the day so for my warm-up exercise i'm going to do two exercises since i'm going to work on both my biceps and triceps for biceps, I'm going to do partial repetitions of dumbbell curls. As you can see, I'm not raising the dumbbell entirely up or not letting it go completely down. I've taken a weight of 5 kilos. You can go with 2.5 kilos also. And do as many repetitions as possible, at least 20 to 30 repetitions to get the blood flowing into your bicep muscle. Get it all primed up for the exercises. For the tricep, I am doing the tricep kick kickbacks, just laying on an inclined bench. Again, 5 kilo dumbbells, keeping my arms behind my body line and getting the maximum extension on my elbows, making sure my triceps are completely engaged all the time while I do my warm-up exercise. So, this would ensure that we are ready for our working sets. For my first exercise and working set, I am doing inclined bench dumbbell curls we have done this earlier too you set up a bench at an incline 45 degrees is more than sufficient lay down flat on the bench you can keep your feet up or down as you're comfortable and then just let your hands hang beside you behind your body's midline and then start curling the dumbbells up with a complete contraction the cue here is not to get your elbows in line with your body, making sure the elbows are always behind your body. And with every eccentric movement, you want to activate your tricep to get a complete stretch on your bicep. I have done a total of four sets, about 10 to 12 repetitions for each set. The last uh, set, it was quite difficult, so I had to do a rest pause technique wherein at 7th rep, I think 7th or 6th rep, I failed. So I had to take a couple of seconds and then get back to it and complete my three repetitions, as you can see. This one exercise has already gotten a lot of blood flow into my biceps. They, were, they already achieved a good amount of pump, but we are just starting our workouts. So here we go, last three reps. And then we are done with our first exercise. Now moving on to our second exercise, I am going to do four sets. Again, each hand, 10 to 12 repetitions of 
single hand tricep cable push downs now why single hand i have recently noticed when i'm doing it with both my arms initially i tend to use one arm more than the other arm as they get tired so i wanted to start off with single arm movement and then in the last set i'm going to do a cable push down with both my arms together with single arm you get to focus one arm at a time and also get the maximum amount of extension at your elbow make sure your elbow is always behind the midline of your body to get maximum activation of your tricep muscle a little bit of leaning forward is okay if you want to stand straight that's fine but make sure your elbow is behind the midline of your body as you can see me doing in the video and with every push down you have to get the maximum amount of extension possible at your elbow that your elbow has to get absolutely straight here you can see from behind how my tricep gets activated with every full extension of my elbow now in between you can just take when you're doing from one arm to the other you don't need to take much of a break you can just swap immediately like i'm going to do in this bit in between sets 30 seconds is more than sufficient because we are doing one arm at a time so the other arm has already gotten about 20 to 30 seconds of rest while one arm is working so 30 seconds break in between sets is more than sufficient if not please be uh, please go ahead and take a 60 second break that's absolutely fine but make sure that you focus on getting that maximum amount of contraction on your tricep you should start feeling a slight pinching like pain right at the top end of your tricep and that's what this exercise is focusing on and as i mentioned i have done the last set with a co uh, cable attachment i have used uh, two rope attachments to get an extra bit of stretch or extra bit of space to go down if you have please do you get a lot of space to go down if not a single one is also absolutely fine that's it we are done now for my second exercise of the day i am going to do calf raises which is sup was supposed to be the first exercise but i just kind of missed out i was too excited to train my arms that i just jumped into my dumbbell curls and my tricep pushbacks but then i remembered that oh i have to work on my calves so getting back to calves this standing calf raises with one uh, while holding weight in one arm we have done this previously pretty simple take your take a support hold a weight which you can hold on to with one hand and start doing your standing calf raises two sets as many reps as possible for my next exercise i chose to do preacher curls uh, in this gym i have this fixed weight uh, easy bar uh, easy bar uh, easy bar rods barbells with fixed weights so it was easy for me to immediately swap the weight so i decided to do with the easy bar my preacher curls and i got a good amount of contraction again three sets 10 to 12 repetitions making sure every contraction is the best you if you don't have easy bar you can do it with a regular bar if you don't have either the easy bar or a regular bar i have done this exercise previously in my previous videos also wherein i used an inclined bench and a dumbbell to do the same preacher curl exercise make sure whenever you're curling that at the topmost point you get the maximum amount of contraction for my last set i chose to go a little bit a uh, close grip to get a little bit more of close grip activation because all this time i have been working with a wide grip and for the eccentric try to slow down a little bit not much and stretch your arm completely as much as possible go to the full range of motion while being comfortable so make sure your seat height is absolutely right and that's it we are done with this exercise last few reps making sure i get the final amount of pump into my biceps so for my next tricep exercise this one is a bit new for my routine here i am using the same easy bar fixed weight rods barbells but i have mixed up close grip bench press and an eccentric skull crusher so what i am basically doing is 
when the bar is on my chest I am exploding it up in a closed grip setup wherein my triceps push the weight up and as I have to get the bar down I slowly go through the eccentric motion creating a tension constant tension on my triceps till the time the bar touches almost touches my skull when it is there I just pull the bar onto my chest again and then push it up again with my triceps I've done three sets again 12 repetitions as you can see all the three sets I have followed the same range of motion trying to get as much of eccentric focused uh, tension building in my triceps as possible and the explosion of uh, the close grip push trains my triceps hard you can also do this particular exercise with a pair of dumbbells if you like or you can do it on a regular bench press setup it's absolutely fine uh, it, it might not work well on a smith machine because you wouldn't have that much of range in terms of getting the smith machine exactly in that curved path so i would recommend doing it with a free weight either dumbbells or a barbell May important part is to be explosive as you can see the push which I give to the bar is quick and the lowing, uh, lowering down motion is as slow as possible till my triceps get tired I was able to get 10 repetitions in every set for my last set once I was done I punched out a few close grip pushes that's it we are done with this exercise so for my last bicep exercise I am going to do the palms facing down alternative dumbbell curls more focused on my forearms and my outer bicep two sets about 12 to 15 repetitions each hand I was trying to get the maximum amount of contraction here again please make sure that you choose a weight which is challenging never choose a weight which is easy but at the same time the challenging weight must allow you to get 10 hard good reps at least in minimum you can see on my facial expressions that it was not an easy weight but at the same time it was not so difficult that I'm not able to curl the weight at all then it wouldn't make much sense to hit that kind of failure to finish off with for my triceps I have chosen to do two sets of Arnold's 21's wherein we do dumbbell tricep extensions 7 half range, mo uh, half range of motion 7 the top half range of motion and 7 full range of motion we have done this previously a pretty simple exercise and a great finisher I feel you can also do multiple sets of it in between if you want to but I like to do this as a finisher by now my triceps were pretty full of blood and they were kind of tired and exhausted but I tried to get the 21s right I chose a weight I think I was going about 15 kilos and 17.5 kilos not anything heavy but that was a good arms workout and that's it we are done for the day thank you for joining me if you like the workout please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe any feedback please push through the comments I'm more than happy to answer the comments and incorporate any kind of feedback which fits well in my program otherwise we are finishing off the day with our static stretches for both our triceps and our biceps make sure in static stretches you hold the stretch for at least 15 to 20 seconds only then the muscle gains its neutral length back or at least goes through the entire neutral length phase after a lot of contractions which we have put it through again thank you for joining me I'm really glad for everyone who is watching this video I hope it is helpful it is effective and it is on path in your own transformation and building strength so on that note thank you and you have a good day